get my information on this one. But last time, speaking with the Minister Lamula, trying to find the number, uh, on the South African, South African prison or correctional service, we had almost 14,000 foreign nationals. 14,000. That would be out of almost 144 plus prisoners that are there in South Africa. Uh, 14,000 out of 444, which means that while there are criminals that are foreign nationals, South Africans remain <laughs> the part of the big criminality uh, in South Africa. So it could not be very uh, true that it's only uh, foreign nationals that are causing uh, crime here in South Africa. Well, I, I, my figures, uh, Jones, about the response of police, don't tell me that it's on the case at end that a response uh, in a corresponding way when it comes to criminality. Yes, there could be some extra uh, kind of incidents. But you remember that the biggest takedown on this one was Makado, uh, when 19 of these guys, and after that there were four of them, and there have been quite several of them. I, I, I believe that everybody here knows the term called Jerusalem, not the song. Uh, there is a group there called Jerusalem. The police have had serious takedowns on those Jerusalem people, and they continue to do so uh, in Limpombo. But also, Houting uh, has been serious takedown, Sibo King, where these guys were ready for cash ice, nine of them were taken down, have been more of them, even in Soweto, they've been taken down. Uh, KZN, uh, indeed, including the nine, that has uh, seems to be making uh, a lot of waves, has been there. Eastern Cape is also uh, doing the, the same thing of responding in a corresponding way. So the, the, the other uh, provincial commissioners and other police, they are dealing with the matters as they face them in those particular areas. Uh, the, this 173, 175 around the country is not only KZN, but indeed uh, KZN would have, have more incidents than others, but it's not true that other provinces are not are not doing the are not do, doing the same. The main concern. I, I just wish that we will reach the situation where less or zero South Africans are killed in whatever form. You know, as you as the news of shooting and taking down nine suspected criminals in KZN. In the same, or two days later, we've buried Sergeant Koza. Well, I must take an issue here, that when we visited the crime scene of these nine suspected criminals, media Yangan was Makin, which means media was full. There were many of them. But when we buried a member of the South African police yesterday that was killed on the line of duty by a criminal himself that was taken down by colleagues, there was zero media. So it, it does give a little bit of a concern as you ask. The reporting of what is muted to us criminals seems to be taking precedence than the, the police at the receiving end, including the funeral of a young, who was only 37, uh, the, the oldest child that he has is 12 years, the youngest is six years, who was sitting there and all that. But it doesn't make news like taking down of the criminal. You ask my concern, that is one of my, was one of my concern. But uh, one major concern, at the level of matters, as you talk about these nine, remember that in one quarter, which is three months, 7,000 South African were murdered. That is a, is a lot of a concern. Women, out of that time, 10,000 of them 
were raped. That is a concern. The fear that is muted by these criminals to South Africans is a concern. We believe and we hope that if we work harder, we'll have to put the situation where South Africans will live in peace and uh, make sure that uh, uh, the, the, that the, the, the situation of crime is reduced or even eliminated if we can do that. Proud of? Well, I'm proud with the members that are doing the job on the ground under very trying uh, circumstances. But also, uh, look, there's been a lot of reconstruction of this organization. Uh, one will be forever proud that we did something that has never been done. At no stage, police have trained 10,000 recruits at a go. That has happened twice, and is happening for the third time on this one. The revamping on the South African police service, the training of the new units, uh, the buying of the equipment, uh, the buying of the new helicopters, and all that kind of thing. But also, working with the communities in the better way. It has never happened in the history of South Africa that CPFs are budgeted for, as we have done on the previous financial year that we budgeted. And I was looking at their budget, they've used uh, it almost uh, fully, buying cars, buying other equipment to do the work. That improved uh, working relationship between communities and the South African Police Service is making, is making response of the South African better. But one specific thing is an improvement of the crime intelligence, which all the time we have been bashed on. But remember, at a certain given point, the crime intelligence was headed by a suspended head for eight years. For a change, uh, all, all leadership management is on the structures, maybe that's why it's beginning to function. As we give you these figures, most of these figures are achieved through the crime-led intelligence uh, uh, information, which means either is functioning or is beginning to function well, but we are improving. So that also will give us pride, uh, having tried to correct and putting the structure in a good machine so that the South African Police Service respond better in the crime situation. Thanks.